the man who inspired the movie Rocky. Inspire a movie, but to have a movie made about your real life and the ups and downs and the, the way you were able to come back. Rocky is a 1976 drama film written by and starring Sylvester Stallone. It tells the rags to riches American dream story of Rocky Balboa, an uneducated, kind-hearted working-class Italian-American boxer, working as a debt collector for a loan shark in the slums of Philadelphia. Rocky, a small-time club fighter, gets a shot at the World Heavyweight Championship. The film, made on a budget of just over $1 million, earned $225 million in global box office receipts, becoming the highest-grossing film of 1976. Rocky was critically acclaimed and solidified Stallone's career as well as commenced his rise to prominence as a major movie star of that era. It went on to receive 10 Academy Award nominations, winning three, including Best Picture. Millions of people around the world cheer the final fight scene in the movie. They love the underdog fighter going the distance with the boxing champion of the world. Many people may not know the Rocky character is based on a real-life boxer named Chuck Wepner. Wepner was born in a tough neighborhood in New York City in 1939. He had to fight in order to be able to survive. He was raised by his mother and grandparents. They lived in a converted coal shed when Wepner was young. The only two options Wepner had for employment in his neighborhood were to work as a longshoreman on the waterfront or join the military. He decided to enlist in the U.S. Marines. During his enlistment, Wepner earned a place on the Marine boxing team. He impressed those around him with his ability to endure the punches from other boxers. Chuck Wepner became a professional boxer in 1964. In 1970, he fought in a boxing match with Sonny Liston. Many people called it the bloodiest fight in history. Wepner had severe cuts over both of his eyes. He had a cracked cheekbone as well as a broken nose. At the end of the match, Wepner received over 71 stitches. The big sports news of 1975 was that unknown boxer Chuck Wepner would challenge Muhammad Ali for a chance to become the world's heavyweight champion. After negotiations, it was agreed a fight involving Muhammad Ali would take place in Cleveland. Ali would get a guaranteed $1.5 million for the fight. Chuck Wepner was given $150,000 and an additional $25,000 for training. This was more money that Wepner had ever earned for any one of his previous fights. A sports reporter asked Wepner if he believed he would be able to survive a match with the champion. Wepner told the reporter he'd been a survivor his entire life. He believed if he could survive the Marines, he could survive this fight. Wepner had always dreamed of being a contender. He worked as a liquor salesman during the day. Prior to the Ali fight, Wepner would get up in the morning and run, then put in a full day of work before training in the evening. He'd have something to eat and go to sleep. This was his routine for years. Wepner trained hard every day for the seven weeks before the fight. He was in the best shape of his life. It was a fight dominated by Muhammad Ali, and it was obvious that Wepner was outclassed. In the ninth round, something amazing happened, Muhammad Ali went down. Later Ali would claim he tripped, and Wepner would still claim he knocked him down. During the rest of the fight, Wepner would take some very serious punishment from Muhammad Ali. Nobody knew how Wepner was able to withstand such beating and keep fighting. With just 19 seconds left in the last round of the fight, Muhammad Ali scored a technical knockout. The boxing world was shocked that someone like Wepner could last so long with the boxing champion of the world. Sylvester Stallone wrote the screenplay for Rocky in three and a half days after watching the fight. In a 2001 interview, Stallone admitted that Chuck Wepner was the inspiration for Rocky. Wepner came to be known as the real Rocky. This title got him many speaking engagements, but it still bothered him that he made no money from such a successful movie. He felt cheated. People told Wepner that Stallone has a multi-million dollar product that is based on him, and Wepner was not getting anything for it. Wepner sued Stallone in 2003. They agreed to an out-of-court settlement amount a few years later. After his retirement from boxing, Wepner began abusing drugs. In 1979, Sylvester Stallone wanted to cast Wepner in a film, but he failed the audition due to his drug problems. In November 1985, Wepner was arrested on drug charges when he was found with four ounces of cocaine in an undercover police investigation. Under a plea bargain agreement, he was sentenced in 1988 to 10 years in prison. He served 17 months in Northern State Prison, New Jersey, 